Hey you guys, it's your girl DK my sister aka Boochie aka the Biblical Betty and I'm back on another video and I have a special guest. Mm. Yes, it is I. <laughs> I have my boyfriend here. His name is Q. <laughs> Q for me too. <laughs> All right, I have my boyfriend here, Q, and a lot of people ask me, how do we meet? And I'm constantly telling the same story, but we do have some difficulties when we are comparing our stories because he claimed he didn't meet me at this date. I claim we did, so I'm going to let you know how we really met because too many people be asking me. Okay. So, this is how we met, which is so crazy. More of all this, this lets you know that stuff really does come back around. So, from 2016 to 2017, I worked at a bookstore. I'm not going to say the name of it, but I worked at a bookstore. And it was just one particular day, this fine young man mm. came in the bookstore. What type of young man? The fine young man came in the bookstore. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he cute or whatever. And he came to the front and he was like, hey, how are you? I'm looking for the philosophy section. You know, the book about, you know, the mind and all the, you know, human nature, I guess. And I was like, oh, it's all the way at the back of the store on the right side towards the end. You gonna see it, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, okay, thank you. And he went all the way and he went to go find the book. He was looking for it. And my coworker was up there too. And I was like, girl, he's so fine. He's so cute. Like, ah. but I wasn't gonna be thirsty. Okay? Because I'm never thirsty. So, I played it cool, kept it cute, you know what I'm saying? And then he came to the front and of course as the bookseller I had to promote our customer discount card so I was like hey do you have a blah 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 discount card and he was like no <laughs> and I could tell he he didn't want the card I'm like mm. trying to upsell me on some damn knowing you go to that store a lot so don't even do that anyway so I rung him up and I was like, well, never see the boy again, whatever. Went on, lived my life, talked to different guys, you know, doing me with my best life. And you was too, so don't even look like this. Mm. And in 2018, I was single. You know, I had got my little heart broke or whatever. And my best friend, Raven, she had texted me and she was like, hey, um, are you looking for anybody? And I was like, I'm open to it, you know what I'm saying? I need somebody who is open to being in a relationship, not trying to be in situationships, and not trying to give me a title. So she was like, I have a cousin. You might like him. Y'all do have a few similarities. I think y'all might like each other. So she sent me a picture of him. That sounds just like him. And I was like, he look good. Oh, and then I was like, yeah, hooked it up, hooked it up. And now you go and tell what you thought. No, nah, let's, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack real quick. So we Now, what your story just said that we met at the bookstore. Yes. When you saw me, when Raven sent you a picture of me, you didn't be like, that's the guy from the bookstore. No. Uh -huh. She sent me a black and white picture of you. I still look the same. You had on dress up clothes. I still have the same face. I only seen you for like two <laughs> minutes. All right, so. Okay. But yeah, my side of the story. I don't remember none of the bookstore stuff that she's talking about. Uh, but how we first met was I came over to her place, her little spot. Hey, 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 hey. What? Go to how you felt when she sent a picture of more. Like, what was your first thoughts? Is she ugly? Is she ugly? She cute? What, did, what was you thinking? She alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm 
was a plan, man. I was like, she's straight. She's straight? <laughs> <laughs> you cute, though. You know, a little petite. You know, I like that. And one day, I met her at her crib. She had some friends over, you know. I ain't know them. But, <laughs> so I ain't say nothing to nobody. I'm an introvert, so coming to a you know new setting with new people, I'm not going to talk much. So I just sat there. You know, they talked to me, I talked to them, but as far as me, just sparking conversation, I think I was on my phone all the time. Yeah. And then they left, and then we went in your room, you said. Yeah, because I had, y'all had my brother, y'all. Hey, babe. I was living in a student apartment where the common area I shared with my roommate, so my bedroom was like my little personal, you know, spot. So that's why I let him come in my room. So, yeah. But yeah, so we were just chilling and uh, basically we got to know each other and everything. Start talking Hold on. about. Callie. We were just talking, you know, getting knowing each other and everything, seeing what we wanted. And I told her off the rip, I wasn't looking for nothing. You know, I was strictly trying to get in and get out. But it didn't break that way. It didn't. So we, because he thought I was one of them. He thought I was one of them little Lucy's. But let me tell you something. No, I told him I was looking for a man that was looking for a relationship. I wasn't finna be doing it. So I told him he can just stay my friend. Because I was not about to let him play with my feelings. I wasn't. And I had Kyle Raven. I said, Raven, your cousin tripping. You told me he was looking for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? You did? You called him? Yeah. But the thing is, that's what you told her. You didn't want her to know that you was trying to... You ain't tell her that you told her I was looking for a girl. All that stuff. So she was thinking, oh, he looking for a relationship. He looking to get a boo. So let me send him to Boochie. But no, you had other things on your agenda. And your agenda was not fulfilled by me. Not by more. So you know what I did? I friend zoned him. He hate when I say I friend zoned him. But I friend zoned you. Yeah. Continue. Well, while I was friends on, I was still doing, you know, what I do. Yeah. In the streets. I was not in these streets. But Where were you? <laughs> in the streets. But yeah. But, yeah, so a year. I think it was a year, yeah, a year later. Uh, we fell off during the summer. Yeah, we fell off during the summer. We went our separate ways. We really wasn't talking. Um, Cause you know, she started talking to somebody else and I was you know, talking to other people. Yeah, cause like, one thing about me is when I'm talking to somebody on a romantic level, I ain't giving nobody my attention. Like, yeah, I can have friends. I'm not saying I can't have friends, you know. But during our friendship, he did give me little hints and, like, kind of flirted a little bit. But he never, like, put no action to it. Never took me out on a date. Never did none of that. So I was like, he just playing with me. Like, he just playing. He just trying to, you know. I was a and like, you was playing because if you wasn't playing, you would have been cuffed me. So I had to go to somebody I felt like that was going to really not play with my feelings. Mm. So I cut him off. It wasn't like, oh, I cussed him out or nothing like that. I just stopped talking to him. Just tell them, like, when the cutoff was. So this is when the cutoff was. <laughs> I was working somewhere since we ain't telling folks where we were. Uh, and it was go. and it was Valentine's Day, and some Valentine's Day is the day <laughs> when you realize that somebody is really feeling you. Ain't that right, ladies? We know if somebody is really feeling us on Valentine's Day because they gonna text us, they gonna give us roses, lit them little cheap chocolates, something, take us out on a date. But you know what he did? He didn't give me time. Nothing. 
Anyway, I was working all day. And, you know, during... <laughs> <laughs> while yeah, I'm y'all need excuses. Y'all need <laughs> excuses. That's all that is. While I was at work, you know, I was checking, you know, my social media, and I see her on a date with somebody. Mm -hmm. So I ain't get mad because you know we were just friends. But he was salty. He was salty. He trying to play it cool, but she were <laughs> because salty. okay. First of all, he claimed he was so busy, but we text early that day. We talk. He was like, "What you doing?" What you doing today? You know, we having a whole conversation. I'm like, this boy ain't gonna tell me every Valentine's Day. He ain't gonna tell me nothing. So, the thing is though, like, yes, you know, we flirt with each other, but it was just very like platonic. When I say we was friends, we strictly was just friends. Like, ain't no fooling around, ain't none of that. But you know, we did say, look, mm, let's let's slick stuff to each other, but it just went nowhere. So I was like, if he really is feeling me, he gonna take me on a date. And I ain't gonna lie, like I kept my schedule available the whole day. And yes, it was guys, you know, trying to hit me up and trying to talk to me, you know, while him and I was friends. But you know, I just always kept casual because. I wanted him to take initiative and take me out and pretty much tell me, I like you, Bucci. But no, he didn't do none of that. So I waited all day long. And so around like five o'clock, the guy who asked me out on like the day before Valentine's Day and I told him I would let him know, he texted me mm. and he was like, you wanna go out? I'm gonna pick you up. Mm. Wear something cute. Mm. And you know what I did? Mm. I went out. I wore something cute. Mm. <laughs> and I made sure I posted it because he claimed he was so busy. But homeboy was watching my social media all day long. He was the hold first on, person hold on, hold on, to hold look on, at my Snapchat because that's when Snapchat was popping. Don't be trying to. T you making it seem like I was just stalking you. That's not stalking, but you was keeping up with me. He sure was keeping up with the kids, Rihanna, because <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't tell me Valentine's Day that whole day, but he wanted time. to keep up with me. You didn't give me time. I didn't. You had from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. to say, have Valentine's Day, which he said nothing. So you know what I did? I went out with somebody else. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And I don't regret it at all. I don't. It was actually a nice day. Mm. That's sweet. It is. You threw what shade. Did I, I just said that's cute or something. You I threw something shade. Like that. It wasn't shade. You was petty. Being no. petty. Yes, you was. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. To each his own. So, I went out on a date. It was a great date. And after that, we really fell off. Then the summer came around, you know, it's a hot girl summer. I'm not, I'm not feeling him. He ain't feeling me. We ain't mm. talking to each other. Boom. Are you talking about me or your date? Me and you. No. Yeah, you been talking to her. It all. Cause I was. Mm. Remind you all, this is 2019. So. I went back to a guy that I always was off and on with, and we was off around like August, and I wasn't talking to nobody. And it's crazy how right whenever I stopped talking to that guy for the last time, he snapped at me. Boy. I'm not, Why no, 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 I'm, I'm say saying it was a coincidence because I didn't tell you I wasn't talking to him anymore. You just snapped me out of the blue. I never once posted him, so you wouldn't even have known that I was even dating him. You just I messaged me. Out. Yes, what did you I did. Say? What did I say? You messaged me like you, I don't know, you slid up on my story and we just started like, you know, going back and forth. I'm telling you, but it's crazy because I didn't even tell you I wasn't talking to him no more. You just started snapping me out of the blue. Well, this is my side of the story. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Stuff this comes back happened. around, but okay. This is what yeah. happened. And I remember the day I was in law. I think I was coming from my grandma's house too. I was on my way back to Hattiesburg. And I get a text from a certain someone. 
But this is the thing, me. though. Listen, nah, you, let me finish. You Snapchat, we Snapchatted each other before I Prior touched you. That? Yes, I'm saying, I'm saying you snapped me out of the blue. And it was this weird, like, it was like, I could be posting something about food and then you would say something. It was over small, like, small talk. And then eventually we just started snapping each other. And uh -huh. I was like, I want to hang out with him, but what? You want to know what I remember? What? I remember you texting me. He you want to remember me. what he want to remember. That's you what I'm saying. You asked me what I was doing. And then that's when we started the conversation again. And then you said that you missed me. I remember and I saying like, it. And I said I miss you too. But why would I text you after blue if we ain't been communicating? Mm, no. No. Would I, I just text you or oh, I miss you? Hey. Do that look like me? I'm hey. telling you, we started snapping each other over the stupidest, you like, have, you smallest have to think stuff. think about who you sending it to, though. It's me. Who are, who are you supposed to be? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> who are you supposed to be? It's me. Nobody. That's fine. But I'm telling you, it was just a coincidence how he just stamped me out of the blue over something so small. And then I started snapping him, and then he was snapping me. So that's just pretty much how it went. And then I was like, you know what? I did miss hanging out with him because when we used to hang out, we would watch Netflix together, eat popcorn, go to church together, I to eat together. Like, I enjoyed that so much. Like, I enjoyed being with somebody, you know, spending time with somebody, and they not, you know, messing with my feelings. I mean... Yeah, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. It was just good platonic vibes. That's all it was. So, I told him I missed him because I did miss us as friends. So, he got a new place. And he was like, come over. And we was like, okay, we can just have like a homework day. We ain't do no homework, but whatever. So, watch TV like a movie and talk and that's when I brought that Chinese over yeah so we you know started hanging out again going out to eat and stuff just like how we used to like, it was just you know casual vibes but this go around everything was just different like before you know we started dating I was living in the apartment he was living with his dad but when we started talking this time he had his own place he was you know doing the thing you know what i'm saying i mean he had really you know grew up mature so i'm like mm -hmm. what you trying to say you you mature like he was different like things were different you know i'm just saying things were different and then i was staying with my aunt so stuff had changed <sighs> and he claimed he wasn't talking to nobody. I wasn't talking to nobody. So we just decided let's give it a try. And look at us now. Look at us now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so we met in 2017 and we've been dating since December 19th of 2019 to now. We make two years in December, so that's pretty much our story. We'll be in engagement soon. Y'all heard it? Okay. Thank you, babes. You handsome too. <laughs> that's pretty much our story. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for our special guest coming on our platform. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Say bye. I have to. Bye, something. Adios. I've been practicing my Spanish. Mi amor. Mi amor. Oh, mi amor. What do you mean? My love. <laughs>